Welcome back to the channel Gist Lovers. Today we bring you Gist from Sarah Omaku, the pastor of Family Worship Center. Here she shares her own view about Christians watching BBN. Do watch and be blessed and drop your own views. I'll share my advice. It has been brought to my attention that some of our members in Family Worship Center and Christians in general are watching the ongoing Big Brother Nigeria program. As a mother in the land, and as a pastor by calling, I have a responsibility towards this generation. I feel a need to guide you in the path of righteousness. As a Christian, you are to pattern your life after Jesus Christ. So let me start by asking you a few questions. Would Jesus watch Big Brother Nigeria? Is the Holy Spirit happy to sit with you and watch the program? Or has he cautioned you a few times and decided to leave you? Can you sincerely say you would be happy to let your cho young children watch Big Brother Nigeria. But we are God's little children and he has enjoined us to receive his kingdom as little children. The Bible in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 5 says, But also for this very reason, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, to virtue, knowledge, to knowledge, self-control, to self-control, perseverance, to perseverance, godliness to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, love. For if these things are yours and are bound, you will be neither barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Last question. How is Big Brother Nigeria adding virtue, knowledge, self-control, perseverance, godliness, brotherly kindness, and love to you? How is it making you fruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ? In Romans chapter 12, verse 2, New Living Translation, the Bible says, don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. I want you to know that Satan is strategic. He is deliberate and patient. I doubt that the Big Brother project was planned in heaven's boardroom, which means it was planned outside of God. There is a plan and there is a target. You are the target. No, it's not just entertainment. The plan of the enemy is to keep pushing the boundaries step by step, little by little, until the lines completely disappear. Your defense and resistance wears out and you begin to practice what you see there and behold, Sodom and Gomorrah is upon us. If you notice, the big brother of five years ago is not like what they are showing now. Our eyes and ears are gateways to our hearts. And from our heart flows the issues of life. Once the enemy is able to corrupt your heart through your ears and your eyes, you are done. You are finished. Knowing that, David in Psalm 101 verse 3, New Living Translation still said, I will refuse to look at anything vile and vulgar. I hate all who deal crookedly. I have nothing to do with them. Brothers and sisters, there is a lot of vile and vulgar in big brother nigeria therefore refuse to look at it refuse to watch it proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 still new living translation says guard your heart above all else for it determines the course of your life demons of lust immorality fornication adultery abortion uncleanness and every evil you can think of have been let loose in the atmosphere therefore guard your heart with all diligence. Matthew chapter 6, verse 22 to 23, New Living Translation says, Your eye is like a lamp that provides light for your body. When your eye is healthy, your whole body is full with light. But when your eye is unhealthy, your whole body is filled with darkness. And if the light you think you have is actually darkness, how deep that darkness is. Let your light shine. Big Brother Nigeria is not the God kind of light. It does not light your temple. Therefore, turn it off and rather start the process of adding to your spirit virtue, knowledge, self-control, perseverance, godliness, brotherly kindness, and love. I agree with her views. If Jesus won't sit with you to watch it, if you wouldn't allow your children to watch it, then there is no need you sitting down to watch it. What do you think? Share your views in the comment section and see you on the next video. Remember to subscribe. And remember that this message is for Christians. God bless you.